of exciting things have been happening. And I'm just not going to take steroids. Like it's just, mm, it's just not that serious for me. Like one of my coaches had me do one prep. I don't do that. You have to like lay down because you're in so much pain. It should not, just don't do that. Just please, just don't do it. Welcome back to my channel, Becca here. If you follow me or don't follow me, go do it on Instagram at basically Becca. I'll try to pop it in the screen if I remember. Y'all know I'm really bad at that. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here, so we're getting back. And I have, I don't know if I've already uploaded them or not at this point, but if so, check out my old content. I've got some videos. I started um, at the beginning of this year. Definitely check out my very first video, which is my whole little getting back into health and fitness journey before I decided to compete. But I'm excited. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. It helps out a lot. And I'm hoping to be a little bit more consistent. Now that we're deeper into prep, things are getting exciting. And I want to take you guys along for the ride, for the journey. So, I'm on my way to the salon right now. I actually woke up this morning and decided to take an impromptu full rest day. I don't think I've actually taken a full rest day, like no cardio, no training, um, since I started prep. And I am, I don't even know, I have to look, but I am several, several weeks in, more than several weeks in. Um, and I am not really saying that I'm so many days out. I definitely have some show dates in mind but I'm just letting my body do what it needs to do keeping my health first all of that so as soon as I know for sure obviously I'll let you guys know um but I definitely have a couple of show dates in mind a lot of exciting things have been happening uh yeah so I'm just I'm a little tired today but I've got my coffee on hand we're gonna try to keep the energy up and I will check in with you guys after my first client at the salon okay just finished with my first client and I'm gonna sweep up, clean up a little bit, and then I am heading back home really fast because I wasn't super prepared. But thankfully I have flexibility, so it works out. And I'm going to grab my next meal. This morning I had um, one of the 100 calorie English muffins with spray butter, one egg, and 100 grams of egg beaters. And then I put like some hot sauce on it. And that was my meal one, uh, along with I'm like, calculated and I got a iced coffee with a splash of sweet cream and sugar-free vanilla from Starbucks because it was one of those days and this is I don't know if you guys can see it in here maybe you'll see it later today and this is the fit I've got on some jeans my Burks and this usually I only wear this to the gym but honestly it's a vibe it's super cute um but I wanted to wear this because I have my waist trainer on and when I have my waist trainer on it like just Sometimes it looks funny. It makes everything up here look funny. So I don't want anybody to see it. So oversized is always what I'm doing when I have my waist trainer on usually. And actually I have to buy a new one today because it was a medium I got like, well, like a year and a half ago and I'm on the last thing. And now it's just because obviously I've lost weight too, but it just like, it's not, tight enough anymore like it's way too comfortable on the last one so I'm sizing down to a small um and maybe should I get an extra small I don't know I don't know but this is very comfortable to wear I don't wear them until I'm dying like one of my coaches had me do one prep I don't do that but I do wear them slightly uncomfortable they should be tight enough to be slightly uncomfortable but not so that you can't sit down or you're like this or you have to like lay down because you're in so much pain it should not just don't do that just please just don't do it anyhow i have energy again because of that coffee so feeling good loving life also this isn't a great view but this is my little suite my little salon i'm sure you guys have seen it in other videos if you have watched those again thank you for joining me super excited oh and i want to tell you guys i ordered my bikini yesterday well, I put the deposit down and they'll ship it out two weeks before my possible competition date. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. But we'll see. I'm, I'm taking care of my body. So if, I, if I'm a few weeks out and I'm like, mm, I wanna push it, there's a show a week after that one that I have in my head 
also, although I'd like to do both, there will be like a month between unless I do a different like federation. So just for people that don't understand, and I don't know everything, so just take this all with a grain of salt. But from what I do know, there's like MPC, which is amateur, but that's kind of like the biggest league, bodybuilding league, like amateur, blah, blah, blah. And that's where you can get your, or the, the coveted thing, right? Is your, get, get your IFBB pro card and then you compete at the pro level. Well, a few years ago, especially at least back in 2016, I think it was more easily accessible to natural athletes, especially amateur and in bikini, especially like specifically to compete and do well naturally. I think there still is a chance depending on the show and all of that, but now even a lot of the girls that are in NPC are on something and even bikini competitors are getting bigger and bigger, like muscle wise. And I'm just not going to take steroids. Like it's just, mm, it's just not that serious for me. I don't want to, but doing a little bit of research this year, there's another federation called the OCB and they actually test. So they are completely natural. Um, just because it's not as big as the MPC, obviously the shows are smaller. I think it's a little bit more expensive, like the actual fees to like compete for the OCB, probably because they have to do testing and all of that. So it makes sense. And they're smaller, so they just don't have like the funds, like I'm sure MPC shows get, but I think it might be a little bit more realistic for me to compete. Um, and just seem more fair since I am natural. I haven't fully decided. I'd like to compete kind of in both just to see how I do, but there's not as many options for me that I want to travel super far for OCB shows. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the season goes. And obviously financially, because it is expensive, the more shows you compete in, the more expensive it is because there's the entry fees. Plus if I want to do NPC and OCB, I have to get my card for each, which is like, about 100, we'll say it's like 100, 150 bucks. So that's like $300 for each card. And then it's like anywhere from, I think it's like 100 to like 150 to compete in each show, like just to enter. And depending on how many classes you want to compete in. So it's a whole thing. So we'll just see, we'll just see. Part of me is thinking, well, I'll compete in one NPC show and then maybe I'll do OCB. I don't really know. We'll just see what happens. Again, this is not like my whole career. I'm not like in this because I definitely want to be pro. It's just not, it's just not. But I just want to compete. I want to do well. I'd like to place and yeah. And obviously I just want to beat 2016 year old Becca, which I already know we're going to. So that's exciting. But anyhow, so those are all the things I've been thinking about right now. It's just super up in the air. I'm 100% competing. Obviously I just ordered my suit. Um, I was looking at tanning packages last night and thinking about getting some hotel reservations for the ones that are a couple hours away from me. Yeah, it's just, it's getting real. I'm getting excited and yeah. All right. Okay, so. Let me turn that off so we don't get in trouble, you know. I, as often happens, sat chatting with one of my girls at in the building who works across from me. She's actually going to be working in my suite here soon, which is exciting. Love her, so we're just chatting it up. But anyhow, I'm now finally on my way to get food. I'm back home really quick to get some food, refill my Yeti, all that good stuff, creatine, throw my creatine in there because I totally forgot this morning. So I got to do that. And then back to the salon. I'm gonna work on editing, getting some older videos up for you guys, and then wait for my next couple of clients I have today, finish that up, and then I will be going to Ulta after work tonight. I'll take you with me. I really only need an eyebrow pencil. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I also really am excited to like buy my um, stage makeup. So I might start looking into that. That's the plan. Pretty excited. I also want to see if my extensions that I have are going to be long enough. So I'll have to see where they hit me. I don't know if I want my hair straight or curled. I kind of think I want it straight. But we'll see. I'll have to see how they look. I might have to buy some different extensions. But they're not thick enough. We're back. 
I just had my second, technically third meal, I guess. And I threw it down and totally forgot that I was filming. But this is not a full day of eating, but I figured I'd also tell you guys anyway. So I had one of these wraps. They're pretty good. Got a good amount of fiber in them too, which is needed right now with all the protein I've been eating. But anyhow, I had that and then I had um, just some like straight up deli meat turkey. But I didn't have enough of it for as much protein that I needed. So I added a little bit of lean ground beef turkey. Uh, Lean ground beef, not turkey. Wow. Uh, I usually get the Laura's or whatever. Lauren's, Laura's, the 96.4. Yeah, it's delicious. I love it. It's been really getting me through lately because I was getting tired of ground turkey and chicken. So, there's your own. Um, anyhow, so I just had that, threw that down. I'm about to fill this up again, put my creatine in here. Still, this is the creatine that I use. It's one of the she honestly, it's one of the cheapest ones I found. Plus, I love bucked up anyway. You guys know I'm a big fan of their pre-workouts and all of that. So I just throw a little scoop of this in with my water. I add some flavor into it. And then I need two for the, today. I need at least two more full of these to hit my water goal. So obviously I'll finish at least one today at the salon. Another one, if not the next two. I always keep some flavoring at the salon so that I don't have to, so that way I'm just, I'm always, I'm always prepared for my, to drink my water. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get Romy a little treat and back in his crate, just a quick reprieve for him today. And then heading back to the salon, work on editing, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Thank you guys for following along with me anyway. Also, how cute are these nails? I just saw this color. I'm sure I've had it before, but I was like, I just, I'm obsessed. Just, they make me feel so good. I love pink so much. <sighs> I am so tired though. All I want to do is take a nap. But I'm not going to take a nap. I'm not going to take a nap. Probably go to bed early. Probably relax, chill tonight for sure. But, all right. To the salon. Editing appointments, Ulta, really quick Ulta run, and then back home, walk Romy, feed him dinner, feed me dinner, have a protein shake after dinner, and that will be my full day. And dinner for me is going to be, well, I can't because I'm on my phone. I think dinner for me is going to be my lean ground beef with like salsa. I'll usually throw some lettuce in there and then... I don't know if I get any more carbs today. I'll have to look and see, I forget. But that's what my dinner will be, so. And I need to go grocery shopping, but that's probably gonna happen tomorrow instead of today. I'm gonna go to Ulta instead. All right, friends. So I just finished work, just left the salon. I'm exhausted. I really wanna go to Ulta and pick up that brown pencil, but I don't feel like going down that busy road to get it, so instead, I think I'm just gonna run to CVS and see if they have it, the one that's near my house. Because I need it for a month. I cannot live on all of my brow products, and I really need to laminate my brows and I have them, so. I'm just gonna run to CVS by my house so that I have it for tomorrow. I've got a semi-busy salon day tomorrow as well, so I'll have to look and see when my are. Um, I'm either going to do my whole gym session before work or I might do like cardio before and then go back for my lift or vice versa in the morning. Oh, I'm just like, I'm just so tired. I'm tired, tired, tired. I just want to sleep all the time. That's how I'm feeling today.
5.13 this evening, which means, let's say, get home by 5.30, four about four, Romeo, six o'clock, 6.30, seven. By 7.30, I should be done with everything, and I can just turn on a show, and kick back and relax, and or work on editing my other video for you guys. Yes, you guys. What the heck? Oh my gosh, my allergies. They're starting again. The medicine's wearing off. Oh my word. They're not. I don't know. I feel like I need to sneeze. Does anybody else have the worst seasonal allergies? Guys, I can't even talk. That's how exhausted I am. And my allergies are coming. And Shark Week's coming for me. So I'm probably going to stop today here. And we'll pick up again tomorrow. Most likely. Yeah. Hi hey friends, so obviously I'm at the salon, it is the next day, um, got my waist trainer on, it's a little cooler here today, and I'm just gonna whip, whip this thing off and get myself to uh, the gym. I am feeling so preppy, I'm just tired, which is good because I'm sleeping finally, but I am, um, your girl is feeling it. So we'll see how this goes. We're gonna go hit some upper body and then 30 minutes stair master. I got myself a ghost energy drink. I put it in my Yeti back there. I've been sipping on that. Yeah, we're just, we're struggling today. But I'm done with work, so that's great. It was a shorter day. So now I just gotta get the gym done and then get home. Also, I know, horrible lighting, but new low this morning so that's exciting um i didn't take any pictures or anything because i'm gonna kind of wait until for my check-in but pretty excited maybe i'll update you with a little physique update tomorrow because i'll have time in the morning i shouldn't feel too rushed All right we made it to the gym i put my hair in like a little gym like i don't know i'm just i wasn't feeling i'm not my skin is struggling shark week is on its way and I just, I'm not feeling, I feel like I look tired. I feel like I look not cute. Stupid shark week. Anyhow, it's fine. I wish I had a hat because I'd like to just hide myself today from everyone here. But it doesn't look too busy. So I want to get in there now before it does start to get busy. Let's roll. All right, you guys. Oh. All right, I'm just leaving the gym now. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. I have showered. Oh, I feel so much better. I've done some skincare. I started doing this because um, my, my sister found a really good deal on it. It's this like do-it-yourself laser hair removal or whatever. I got that and I've been doing it. So we're supposed to start out like twice every week and whatnot. And anyhow, yeah. But especially if I want to do like legs and stuff, it takes a while. So I try to set aside time to do that. And I just did that. And skincare and Romeo's chilling. Rami, say hi, Rami. Say like, hello. Anyway, so I am tired. I know I haven't shown you guys like a ton. It hasn't been like super fun or exciting or anything. Uh, but I did have a really good upper body day. Like I said, I was back, my shoulders back, 
and biceps, so really good. Cardio, all of that. I'm tired, but I feel good right now. I definitely am liking it. I didn't know how I felt about those Element packets when I first got them, but I realized I just didn't like the raspberry flavor at all, but I've liked all the other ones. And they're really good mixed in with your pre-workout, and the saltiness doesn't seem as extreme. I think the more you drink it, or maybe it's just because I'm like, I'm craving it now. I don't know, but I feel like I need it. I feel like I, I feel the like replenishment of it when I drink it. And now I almost like crave it. So I probably will be getting more of the element electrolyte packets again, because I am, I am really liking it. So they do have a chocolate flavor. I kind of want to try, but I'm afraid I'll hate it. Like the raspberry one. Like I don't even want to touch the two raspberry ones I have because I don't like the flavor, which is weird because usually... I like raspberry, so who knows? But anyhow, if you wanna check those out, definitely check it out, I don't have a link or anything. I'm still kinda of deciding, you know, if I like it, but I've had it enough now, I've gone through them that I, yeah, I definitely notice a difference. Um, just in how my body feels and hydration and even like giving me like a little bit of energy, so. I don't know, try it out, see if you like it. Or if you guys have any other types of like electrolytes or hydration that you like, comment below, I'd love to check it out, I'm always looking. Especially if it's like a little bit more cost effective. They don't actually don't seem that expensive to me. Element doesn't. Seems pretty reasonable, but I'm always open to try new things. I'm going to do some dishes now. When I got home, I had another meal. Um, my meals today have been, it's like one of my, not, it's not a normal day for me. It was a running day. So I ended up having this morning, I had two caramel rice cakes with um, peanut butter and then sugar-free jam on them and then I had um, a protein bar later on in between appointments and then I had a protein shake later on <laughs> on the way to the gym and then I had the rest of it on the way home from the gym and then when I got home I had I think it was like I had whatever I had left over 76 grams of lean beef and what else did I have with it Oh, and I had that on like one of my low carb tortillas. I think they're only like 60 calories and I think the carbs are like 10 or 11. They're super low for a tortilla, so yeah. And then I had that with like some spinach and also like some hot sauce and it was delicious. And I still need to have one more meal today. I just don't know what it's gonna be yet. I need to look at my macros and kind of decide. So th a day like this is rare for me. Usually I kind of already know exactly what I'm gonna eat but I was kind of just running around today and I still need to grocery shop and I've been pushing it off. So we're just making it work. But as long as I follow my macros, I'm happy it works. So we're all right with that. Some days it's okay, but usually days like this make it difficult to stay on track and like stay within your macros. But so far we're doing really good. So zero complaints here. So I'm just going to go boring, do some dishes and then I'll make that last meal and maybe I'll check in with you guys again and i'll try to take you along tomorrow to the gym and then maybe we'll upload this we'll edit and upload this vlog for you guys all right new low today so i told you guys i would do a check-in all right Hi friends, so day three here. This is probably where I'm going to end this vlog, but just finished a lift and 30 minutes on the stair stepper, stair master, whatever. I did not want to go in today. I'm sweating by the way, like woo, struggling. But I went, I didn't feel like I had the energy. I did end up having some pre-workout, so I'm sure that helped a little bit, but once I got in there and started lifting, I was good. It was, I literally though sat in my car in the parking lot like, do I really, do I really need to do this? The answer is yes, do it. You don't, and I will say this, like it did make me feel better and I actually feel like I have more energy now, which is often the case, but especially on prep or even just in regular life, you're not 
always going to be like, wow, that was the best lift ever. Like, I still wouldn't say it was my best lift ever, but like I felt so much better. It gave me energy. So I'm glad I pushed through the not wanting to be here and I did it anyway. So yay. I'm about to head out to the grocery store and pick up some stuff because my kitchen is starting to be empty and then head home, unload the groceries and then I have a doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna see if they can help me with my allergy issues so I can stop paying for all these prescription allergy pills and they can my insurance can pay instead because that's why we have insurance that would be great anyway love you guys so much thank you for following along with me you're like truly I don't have a lot of people that are super supportive of this sport in my life so you guys are kind of like my little community to share this with so I just really appreciate it. I appreciate the comments and the messages. It just really is encouraging and helps me kind of keep pushing through. So it's getting exciting. Changes are really starting to happen in my body, which is cool to see. So let's keep going. Have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at basicallybecca. I will see you guys the next time. Let's get it.